Good morning, everyone. Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Sherry. Wow, it is beautiful out here. It's unbelievable. I am sitting in my kitchen, and there's my car behind me. <laughs> I don't know if I like it parked there. Uh, Kevin called and told me as he was uh, loading up his truck to leave, a copperhead kind of chased him across the driveway. So I need to call, you know, make a 911 call out to Papa Pepper to see if he can bring me a couple of black snakes and maybe a rat snake. I'd rather have those kind of snakes than just copperheads. But, you know, they're getting ready to go underground, I believe, in November. So in about a month. But, you know, I don't know if I want to go a month like that, guys. I don't know. Kind of freaks me out. Excuse me, I'm having coffee. But, you know, I kind of knew that's what I was going to get into coming out here. Would you like to see what we've gotten done? Here, I'll turn the camera around. It is amazing. Let's see. Let's come this way and I'll show you the shower. Isn't it beautiful out here? That's the wood I have in for the winter. That's not going to last me, so I need to get busy. La la, isn't that pretty? And it does cover all four ways around. The chandelier came out amazing. Amazing. And then a little dressing bench. And I do have a flushable toilet, but we, I don't use it. It's just there. Now it looks like it's a junkyard, but that's okay. Maybe I can incorporate it later. This was for now. You know, my, my basic needs. This was fulfilling the basic needs. And that's what... Um, Kevin was here to do is just to get me set up with my basic needs. The shower, it's beautiful, guys. I mean, I can't even describe coming out here and taking a shower at 8 o'clock in the morning. And this is what you have. Absolutely no one. No one at all. My own little mountain. Oh, I hear my neighbor's dog. He's a naughty. Come this way. Hey, that's where I was sitting, talking to you when I first started. Solar lights are charging. They're going to go um, from the top all over to the trailer, but I haven't mounted it because I think I want to paint my trailer. I'm going to paint it. This is free to a good home. I need to find the local Goodwill. Guys, I came with way too much stuff. So that this pile is charity. Well, of course, not the toolbox. But... And I had Kevin um, clean up the front because I didn't like the idea of the generator being exposed from the street. So we got that all cleaned out and moved. The trailer, he had to dig this hole so he could... Uh, make it level. We've gotten a lot done. I think it looks a little cheesy. So that's my next project is to get this cleaned up a little bit. I don't like it. Hey guys, you know I went in and had a job interview um, yesterday and he said, Sherry, come in at 8 o'clock Sunday morning and we'll see how you do. So I can't say that I got the job. He just wants, this is a trial basis. He wants to see how I do under pressure on a Sunday. <sighs> Sundays are a piece of cake, guys. They really are. I'm sure, you know, every restaurant has their rushes. And being a Sunday, you know, after church, this is a very big church town. Um, I imagine it gets quite busy. But that's okay. I am going to do what um, I need to do to get that job. And it is in a restaurant. I was not hired as a server, unfortunately, because that's really what I want to do, because that's what I do. But I'll be in the back of the house. He's looking for a cook. 
you know, that's okay. I can do that for now. I'm, you know, I'm not proud, guys. I will do whatever it takes to feed me. You know what I'm saying? So if I need to go in there into a restaurant and cook, so be it. And I'll give him my very best. <laughs> so that's, let's see, what else can we talk about? Yeah, everything's done, guys. Well, not everything's done, but for my basic needs, they are. Bobble had have asked if I had a video out on the fire pit or, you know, the stone stove. And I told him, yeah, I do, but I don't because I'm not really like a uh, building channel, you know, where people can watch us build. I'm more of a vlogger. This is the day-to-day -day life of a, just a female living off grid, you know, in my struggles. You know, I haven't been online a whole lot or on YouTube a whole lot in the last two days because I've been having problems with my generator. And my phone is like at 10% right now, but I did want to go ahead and film this. So what is on my to-do list today? Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't have a to-do list today. This is one day in three months. I have nothing to do. Absolutely nothing. So what do I want to do? I want to go out there and start clearing the land. But, but, copperheads? I don't know, guys. I mean, yeah, I knew I would be faced with that coming out here. But when Kevin has one chase him down the driveway, that's a little bit different story. I mean, I do have boots. They are not snake boots. They're just regular muck boots. But at least maybe give me some protection. You know, I don't know how. I think they say their fangs are as long as their bodies. I'm not quite sure of that, though. Well, that sounds awful odd. I mean, if they're three feet long, then their teeth are three feet long. No, thank you, guys. No, 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 no. So if I can get this place, you know, cleaned up. But yeah. I wish I could sit that, yeah, that white spot between the trees is my property line. And then there's um, a hedge back there that I've been dragging trees. That is two feet off my property. And I figured that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think we are under a burn ban. I was listening to the radio this morning and they had stated that. Well, everyone, I'm up. It's early. It's like 7. I've been up for like ever. <clears throat> Last night, I went to bed at like... 7.15, 7.30. Guys, I didn't get up until like 6 o'clock this morning. I was out. I was down, out for the count. And my body finally just said, Sherry, that's enough. That is enough. And I guess I feel rejuvenated. <laughs> I like that word. Rejuvenated. This makes me sound like I'm going to a spa or something. But, you know, this is kind of like my spa when you think about it. My own little piece of mountain. I mean, how awesome is that? You know, you just, uh, dreams come true. I'm still working on my dream. I am. You know, God led me here. He'll lead me through it. So, yep, it's beautiful. I'm very blessed, very humbled, and I got my own little piece of mountain. I mean, being a female and going off grid has its struggles, guys, I tell ya. So, but I do got a shower. It's it's just a solar bag. That's okay. You know, at least it gets the funk off. You know what I mean? And um, if I can just get this generator and my, and my electricity and power going, um, that's the, my struggle. C currently, that's my struggle. So I did take my jump box over to a friend's house, and it is getting charged over to our Serenity homestead. Um, they let me plug in. So my jump box is over there charging. I took it over there last night. I had no power, guys. None whatsoever. My phone was dying. So I took, uh, went over there, plugged in the jump box, and I was able to get at least 20% on my phone just in case of a 911 emergency because the phone was dead. I mean... I think I was like at 2%. So uh, I came back here. I was I tried starting my generator, but I need the jump box to jump 
start the generator and of course the jump box was dead. So just a struggle of, of being off grid, you know, I'm going off grid is a struggle to anybody, of course, but being a female, those struggles are a little bit harder. And I knew that and I came out here to be stronger and to be more uh, reliant on myself, you know, not other people. But then it, I, it occurred to me last night that we all need our friends. Everybody needs a help up sometimes. So um, I need to quit being so headstrong, if you know what I mean. But, you know, I, I do. I've got my basic needs are met. Um, the power pole that you can see back there. From what I'm understanding, it's still going to be about $800. And until I can start my job and get a couple of paychecks underneath me, I'm not going to be off. So I am still 100% off grid. You know, how, how sucky is that? It's like giving a kid a Christmas present and not including the batteries. Correct, right? So I got this power pole with no batteries so but that's okay it, you know i go out there and i look at it and it gives me something to to work for you know my next dream well that's not my next dream i'm still fulfilling my very first dream but that is definitely up there that is not, you know that's not even like a, a a want that is a need that is definitely a need especially with winter knocking on my door and i don't have firewood yet well, everyone, my battery's getting ready to die. Love you. Thanks for watching.